I am a physical chemist, which is a, trying to figure out why things are in a certain way. And then I use instrumentation to figure out what that means at a molecular level. I am one of the most patient people that I know. And you can't actually do science unless you're patient. It's not like you wake up one day and I'll hear something brilliant and the next day it's, it's there. No. <laughs> it takes patience to be with something and figure out something that other people haven't figured out. My research is actually taking feathers and shredding them, making them into pellets. And from those pellets, making plastics, we actually then chose to make an end product. And we partnered with a group called Horticultural Research Institute and made biodegradable flower pots. We want plastics to be around as long as they need to be and then to disappear. That coffee cup from styrofoam is around for 200 years. 200 years for something you only use for like five minutes. What's missing in the polymer industry is actually industry taking responsibility for the half-life of the products. The plastic industry is just beginning to take responsibility for that. Well, feathers are always, by design, recyclable. Feathers are such an excellent starting material for making other products. The plastic nature of the spire plastic means it's open to invention and innovation and proper design. In a normal poultry processing plant, each plant produces 20,000 pounds of feathers an hour. Each year in the United States, something like three and a half billion pounds of feathers are produced. Why is that not being harvested?